Hello friends. Today we are going to learn the chapter Waste Water Story. Eucalyptus plant and cleaning of water. Eucalyptus plant can absorb the water at a faster rate and then they release pure water vapor. In this way they act as a natural water purifier. Hence it is advised to plant eucalyptus trees along the sewage ponds. Why should we adopt better housekeeping practices and become an active citizen? We should try to reduce the waste that is produced in our households so that there is not much pressure on WWTP. It is often difficult to clean tons of waste water. The sewage water can cause several problems such as harmful diseases, unhygienic and unsanitary conditions in the locality. Hence, we can be more considerate about producing a limited amount of waste and we can accomplish this by adopting better housekeeping practices. Also, we can become an active citizen by making sure that there are no open drains or sewers in our locality. If we find any, we should immediately report the same to the municipality. What better housekeeping practices we can adopt a good way to minimize the sewage water is to check what is going in our drains if we dispose of our waste properly we may be able to reduce the sewage here are some housekeeping practices that we should adopt we should throw all the oil and fats in the dustbin rather than throwing them off the drain. Oil and fats harden and block the drains. Moreover, it is difficult to separate them from the water. We should not throw chemicals in the drains like insecticides, pesticides or medicines. They can kill the microbes in the water that helps in its purification. We should not throw things in the drain that can block them like tea leaves, food remains, cotton, soft toys, etc. We should always throw them in the dustbin. Sanitation and disease. Sanitation refers to the health conditions of people related to the disposal of sewage, human excreta and provision of clean drinking water. Poor sanitation and polluted drinking water can lead to many diseases. Hence, a sanitation system aims to provide a clean environment for us so that we can stay away from diseases. Improper sanitization can give rise to different diseases that arise from contaminated water such as typhoid, dysentery, hepatitis, polio, cholera and meningitis. The human excreta is a health hazard and can lead to soil and water pollution. It can pollute the surface water and ground water. Hence, people should never defecate in open areas. Alternative Arrangement for Sewage Disposal As an alternative for sewage disposal on site sewage is being used nowadays. For example, septic tanks, compost pit toilets and chemical toilets. The on-site sewage treatments Use natural procedures to treat and dispose of the waste water or sewage. This system is suitable in places where there is no central wastewater collection system. Septic tanks. A septic tank is often installed under the ground in houses 
or buildings such as hospitals. It allows decomposition of sewage from home through the action of anaerobic bacteria. Chemical Toilets A chemical toilet has a separate compartment that treats human waste with chemicals and decreases their odor. Composting Toilets A composting toilet treats human waste with biological processes. The aerobic bacteria are present in a storage tank that act upon the waste and turn it into compost. Many organizations have also installed on-site hygienic waste disposal technology in which the human excreta directly flows into a biogas plant and is then used as an energy resource. Sanitation at public places There are numerous places in our country which are very busy such as airports, railway stations and bus depots. Many times large gatherings such as fairs and festivals are also organized where a large number of people visits. This results in the generation of large amounts of waste. And if the waste is not treated properly, it can lead to several diseases and even an epidemic. This results in the generation of large amounts of waste and if the waste is not treated properly, it can lead to several diseases and even an epidemic. Hence, we should all become aware and contribute to maintaining sanitation not only in our homes but also at public places. If we adopt certain practices at public places, we can help in maintaining their sanitation. For instance, we should not throw garbage in public places and always use the dustbins. We should not spit around in a public place. Thank you friends. Bye bye.